I'm listening to you talk, Marshall. How come you're not running the NFL Players Association? Because this is one of my big problems with the NFL PA. In turn, I feel it took a big step back after Gene Upshaw. To me, the only way that league can be, the only way those players can be represented properly is by a former player. You're the first guy that I've ever <laughs> sat and listened to. I was like, oh, he could do what Gene Upshaw did. How, how come you're not in that spot? Or how come you're not looking for that spot? The people making the decisions on that, they look for and look like the people who are running it. DeMora Smith was like a five foot five, you know, never played football in his life. And then what, what, did he, what, what is he though? A lawyer. Okay. Conversation. Yeah. Lawyer. Conversation. What was Gene Upshaw? He, I, he did have a law degree. No, but no, no, no. Gene, Gene was a former player. I think he, I know, he, he, he operated some. I'm just saying, like, yeah. <laughs> put around. Him. I'm just saying, he, he, Gene, Gene was a former player who had lawyers around him. Yep. Yeah. And 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 then we went to lawyers a lawyer. don't want to hang around. We went, to a, we went to a lawyer who brought other lawyers around him. But well, they said thousands. And now we have a businessman who has lawyers around him. A good day or something like that. But what they have is weak leadership, in my opinion. And, and leadership that, because I think it's a hard I, job. I cannot, here's, here's what I'm going to say. Um, D did, he did the job that was necessary to combat Roger Cadell and where the league was going. He did as good a job as he could. That's what I'm, I'm going to give him that. Yeah, I would give him that, but I'm and, saying a former player that actually loved the game and love the players but I don't, done a better job. He, he, here's what here's a at, at the point in time and where we was as a league and where we and what we needed, we needed another litigator to go go up yep. against a litigator. Because yep. don't don't Roger ain't no slouch, man. I give him his like the NFL is the best because we are the best. Like and we have the best. We're not we're not basketball. We're not they're they're not they're not just gonna turn the league over to the players and the players union. No it's way. a fight. It's a fight. And, 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 and D, respectfully and disrespectfully, had his fuse with Roger and, and told the line with him. Maybe I'll sound naive, but, but this is what I believe. With, with Gene Upshaw, why I thought he excelled is because he recognized, like, man, there's so much money to be made. I need to be, and the players need to be in partnership with ownership. And DeMora Smith being a litigator for I need to be completely adversarial with the NFL. Yes. And if you look at the results in terms of percentage of gross revenue and all that, it all backed up on a DeMora Smith and, and where the league could be if they had someone that understood like, hey, man, Jerry Jones would rather be in partnership with the players than in a total knockdown drag out fight with the player. I'm not saying he roll over and just give things away, but it's a better approach, right? There's so much money to be made that, that they don't mind sharing it. Who 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 who, who, is, who are you talking who, who about? Are you talking about? Who is they? Stop. Stop. They don't mind what? Stop. Sharing it. Stop. Okay. All right. All right, I'm gonna give you this. So when, so when G, no no hold on so, hold on. When Gene was back in the day, it was something called DGR, designated gross revenue. Yeah. And I remember sitting with Gene, God bless his soul, good man. And I said, who's designating this gross income? Because when I get a check, it says gross and net. I don't get to designate what I'm gonna tell you this is. <laughs> who's designating the gross amount that you're telling us that we're getting 60% of designated gross? What do you mean designated? I want a piece of the parking, the hot dogs, the beer, the whole nine yards. Can we get a real accounting? And he looked at me like this here, like, boy, you better wake up. Like, and then he came up with the minimum where you, if you were a seven year guy, you had to be paid 725. Eight year guy had to be 850. Nine year guy. You remember those? And I looked at him and I pointed out in my locker room. I said, there's Kenny Gant, LaCurtis Buckley, Jerry Ellison, and another special team guy. That's 9, 11, 12, and 13 years. We ain't got no $5 million to pay them four dudes. Are you kidding me, Gene? You're finna run them boys out of the league. And he went, I didn't think of that. I said, you're trying to make them spend more money. But how you gonna tell his brother he can't take a half a million dollars? They don't get that kind of money at McDonald's. You gonna tell this man as an idea vet 
He can't take a six hundred thousand dollar contract. Well, you you think they they want to share with us? <laughs> yeah, because it's it's sometimes it's better to do 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 you do you understand? Um, let's just let's just talk about health insurance. Yeah, you know there's no health insurance. Once you, I think five, five, years. five years out. I, I've been letting that on the union. Why? Because you could get it. You get what you no, no, demand. No, no, no. You get what you fight no, no. for. You I, get what I know, you can I know. leverage. I know. Yeah. I know. I know. But but when you work a job in the United States, the government decides to that employer you got to give them health insurance, and if they and if they play X amount of work for you for X long. Now it's part of their retirement package. That's not union. That's the government. Yeah, and so, take my mother. Worked 30 years at AT&T. That's 30 years. Most NFL careers are two or three years. Right. Uh-huh. And so I don't blame NFL saying, I got to pay this guy's insurance, and he was only in this league for two years. I got to pay it for life. No, now, no, no, not for life. No, no, no. No, no, no. Uh-uh. Not for life. For two years, not for life. We're We're talking like, Guys who helped build this thing. Right. And I believe the union could get that done if, if the leadership really believed in that. Now, nah, so the right. union, so you got to remember, the union is for the current players. Current. Yeah. And, 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 and when they, I'm going to go back, come. I'm going to go back to where I started the show at. My philosophy. Oh, the, those uh, old players are the reason why. I'm in the league right now Understood. making $30, $40 million a year. So Jason Whitlock is going to explain to everybody in the room. They may disagree with me. Like, I owe Marshall Falk. I stood on his shoulders. I'm making $30 million because yeah, you, Marshall not, took five. I would make that yeah. argument. I'm sorry. Listen, that, that's that's not happening. No. The, the players today, they, 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 the they, they have they have video games, and they, they damn near don't know some of the guys who played before them. They, that's they on can't. us. Who Who is us? The players. No, that's not. That's not. That's not on the players. No. You, you got to understand that the, the game. What are the we? Game, what, what, are, what are they responsible for? The, the, the game. The game at a at a young level, at a very young level, you're taught the game, and if you're not taught the game, and you're not taught to respect the game, and to understand what was before you, then then that that's not going to happen. Half. I'm I'm telling you, there's guys playing in the. There's guys playing in the <laughs> NFL. That if you ask them about a Hall of Fame player, or somebody they 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 don't no know they have no idea no who clue. the player is. No clue. I I heard of him. Got you. That that that, that, that that's to me that's where leadership and a former player as the head of the union that's like a a fifteen year initiative of I we got to create a culture a, a real brotherhood. No no no. I'm just no, he, he, here. Here's the thing. All right. Um, the league, you know, once you're done, you're done. They they <laughs> might prop you up to do something, but you're not seeing other than calling games and working in television. You're not seeing a lot of former players highlighted. I mean, you don't you don't see as good a job as Troy Vincent is doing. You, you don't hear. <laughs> I'm just saying, you don't see. Again, part of it is, I'm just telling you, what's your mentality when you're done? And if it's if it's not, what a value can I bring to the league or my former team? Your mentality's wrong. Because what the team is going to say is we paid you. And while we were here, we advised you, we provided all this other stuff. I'm not disagreeing with that, but but the opportunity has to be there. If the opportunity was there, if the opportunity was there, they wouldn't they wouldn't be putting all of these diversity diversity inclusion all, all of these the Rooney Rule would need to be a Rooney Rule. If, no, if, if there yeah, was an issue, the Rooney Rule. we would we would need it. And now now it's got to be in the front office. Like none of that would need to none of that would if the opportunity was just opportunity and and it was equal, then we would need none of these things in place. I, our mentality's wrong. Either either. I, I'm, who who is our? 
black 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 athlete, former black athlete. Our mentality. I'm just to get specific. And is it is it is it is it wrong? Is it is it wrong because is it wrong because because we're wrong, or is it wrong because these are the facts, and here's what we've dealt with, and here's what it's been like? No, I, I think what happens is take Warren Sapp, and I could say the same about you, obviously, but it's like when. Warren Sapp, what made him great was like, didn't nobody have to say, hey, Warren, go get the quarterback. W Warren went out and got the quarterback because he was that kind of a dog. And no one had to tell him, hey, Warren, you know, there's an opportunity for you to sack the quarterback. No one had to tell him that. No, no, they may show him a better technique on how to sack the quarterback, but Warren wanted to go out and create his own opportunities. And then once the playing career is over, that dog mentality that made you a great football player has to take over in real life, and it's about creating opportunities for yourself. There's no opportunities. You ain't creating none. Chase, go. I done created opportunities my whole life. I, 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 guys, I just, I'm, t I came Jason, from nothing. You, I, I graduated no, college no, no. with a two point three. No, nope, I wrote <laughs> every newspaper in the college begging for a job, and they all told me, except for one, that. <laughs> that they would give me a chance at five dollars an hour. Yeah, and I was like, "Oh, okay, great. Watch what I do with that five dollars an hour job." No, 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 no. They gave you the job, though. They gave you the job. Yeah, they That's gave the it. Thing. They gave you the job. They That's gave you I created it, though. No, you didn't. No, no, no. They gave it to you. <laughs> no, you you paid for it, and they gave it to you. If you created the job, guess what? You'd have been working for free, and they would have saw your value, and then offered you five. I basically was working. No, no, no. Five. They gave you five. No, no, no. They gave you the job. They gave you five dollars to do the job. If you if if you have went there. And, and then I'm going to show you my value. And then they say, you know what? After two months, three months, a year, now I'm going to pay you $5 an hour. That's creating a job. You took the opportunity. The space was open. Remember, there was, there was, there was Warren Sapp before Warren Sapp. We just didn't know. He, he couldn't go to Miami. Back when, back when we had to go to HBCUs, he couldn't go to Miami. Back when, back when they wouldn't draft and, him and in the NFL. And you know who created them opportunities? Sam Bam Cunningham, they went down and ran over Alabama, and everybody started saying, I need to give me some black players. You create James Harris, so, all these guys so, that had these great HBCU so careers. So the opportunity they was created, created by your hard work and by your go getting it and by creating the opportunity. No, the, yeah. op the opportunity was created once they realized, oh shit, they can play at this level. They're, They're better. better. Yeah. Gotcha. And, and, and guess what Alabama had to do? They had to accept that game on their schedule. Right. And and so And guess what how long you know how long they they, they didn't want to take this game. <laughs> our history, our history yes. from beginning is about creating opportunities, doing the work necessary. No one gave us freedom from uh, from slavery. We went out and took that. But black, white people, believers, whatever, people died for that. It wasn't given, it was created. That that's this mentality of, well, they won't give us this. That's not what America's about. America's about what you're willing to go take and create. 